<sighs> What's wrong with me? Why does everybody I love end up leaving? I just hope I find someone who loves me just as much as I love them. Let me just check if I got any messages. And I don't. That's not surprising. Maybe I should just try putting myself out there more. <sighs> I don't even know why I woke up today. Hi, I would like a mocha frat, please. Hey, what are you doing here sitting all by yourself? Well, I just usually sit alone. You mind if I sit with you? You can if you want. So, what's your name? My name's David, you? My name's Rita, and are you okay? Well, I guess I'm just not a really big fan of small talk. I can understand that. Then what does matter to you? I just have a desire to help a bunch of people. I can really relate with that. Do you mind if I take you to the library? Actually, I don't mind at all. Wait, why'd you want to go to the library? Well, I wanted to get a book that really helped me through some times, and I thought it would help you too. Oh, alright. I'll wait at the table until you get the book. Oh, so you got me the Bible? Yeah, it really helped me through some times. I mean, I really appreciate it. I do read some of it, but it doesn't really stop me from not feeling lonely. Well, do you actually believe in the words being said? Because in Hebrews 4.12 it says, For the word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the division of soul and of spirit, of joints and of marrow, and discerning the thoughts and attentions of the heart. Well, I do believe what it said. It's just hard to stand firm when there's so many problems. Well, you have to remind yourself that you're special and that you're never really alone. God hasn't forgotten about you. Maybe your loneliness is preparing you for something big. Well, I actually never really thought about it like that. But whatever blessings in store for me, I don't think I'll be receiving it anytime soon. Well, there isn't really a such thing as a blessing given too soon. Anything God's prepared for you, he'll give to you at the right time. Thanks for the knowledge. I really do appreciate it. It's really no problem. I felt the need to share a word with you. You should actually take the Bible home. I feel like it will really help your spirit. I definitely will. I can't believe I met that girl today. Just to think a day ago, I thought I wasn't going to meet anyone. Wait a minute, is that a homeless person? Maybe I can help him out. Hey, I just wanted to give you some money. Thank you, I really do appreciate that. Well, I just felt it in my spirit to help you out because I know it's something I would have wanted when I was struggling. Well, this really helps me a lot because sometimes it feels like I'm just waiting on death because people walk past me every day and don't even acknowledge me, so I really appreciate you. So many people claim that they have love, but very little of them show it. And a lot of people don't even feel it. Well, I definitely feel you on that. It's hard to come across people who actually try to live in love. But I truly don't believe this is your end. In Psalms 91, 14 through 16, the Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name. When they call on me, I will answer. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue and honor them. I will reward them with a long life and give them my salvation. So just remember, if you have faith in the Lord, anything is possible. By the way, what's your name? Well, my name is Gaston, and um, I appreciate you saying that to me. To be honest, I lost my faith a while ago after I figured my life was done. But when you said that, it really, really touched my heart. You're welcome, Gaston. And my name is David. As a matter of fact, you can have my Bible. I can always get another one. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You're welcome.